today is a lovely sunny bright day in Morecambe. Everyone's out on the beach but also we are having the Bay International Film Festival photo exhibition. Everyone's here enjoying the um, photographs on the show and we've been able to get introduced to some of the photographers. the Midland Hotel in Morecambe and uh, we are having an opening of two exhibitions and uh, the first one is the result of seven months of competition for local photographers for the best Morecambe Bay photo and we've chosen 27 best photos which we are presenting today. Uh, they are all representing the beauty of Morecambe Bay and we have most of the photographers here with us and very soon we will announce the winner of the overall competition. Photographic exhibition and the retrospective, and that was kind of my baby, really. I'm a huge Kubrick fan, uh, and you know, the whole thing started out with desire really to see 2001 on the big screen, which I've never done in my entire life. And, uh, if it's not there, then do it yourself, basically, is the punk attitude. I got in touch with Norrie, found him, tracked him down, and then that's where we got these photographs from, which are 31 unseen photos of. Um, Kubrick working on Barry Lyndon and uh, I interviewed Nori for this, uh, it's online or if you come to the uh, exhibition you'll be able to hear it uh, and he just uh, told us about his life which is fascinating, he was a 22 year old man when he sort of got this gig and it was at the start of his career uh, and it gave him a career. after five of my images that were selected for the, the competition, uh, various subjects I've taken uh, predominantly after finishing work actually. Uh, it's been very encouraging, it's been a way of improving work, photography, trying to find the uh, different subjects and find something different that you can portray in a different light. How have you found the exhibition today? It's been really good, I've enjoyed meeting people as well because obviously as photographers we post a lot on social media which is very faceless, but now it's actually nice to put faces to the names uh, and meet people. And the Bay Film Festival have done a wonderful job in, in uh, promoting uh, and increasing awareness, obviously, of Morecambe Bay and, and of our photography skills. So it's been a win-win all round. The winner is Selden Scott. photographed the bay for 15 years or so now, so I've uh, got plenty of experience of the beauty of the place, and it's a wonderful exhibition. It's, it's nice that uh, these kind of events come to the town, yes. It's also been good seeing the, the other photographs from amateurs like myself in the exhibition, you know, some terrific work. Some really good work, yeah, I've had thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, uh, it is an art-loving area, there's the, uh, the Silverdale Artists Collectives and uh, you see when you look along the prom you see various artworks along the prom and it's, it's lovely to see visitors and locals in the town enjoying the art. So it's an important part of, of the area, yes. Uh, and like I say, that uh, locals get involved as well as we've seen with the photography exhibition. 
Uh, do you have any inspiration for the photograph that you submitted that uh, won the festival? Um, well, just the bay itself, really. It came after uh, taking, uh, I've taken literally hundreds of photos of the bay, and it was sunsets that uh, that grabbed my attention first of all. Uh, my wife gave me a camera one birthday and uh, encouraged me to go out not long after we moved here. And it was the Morecambe Bay sunsets and everything. And obviously the photo is of Morecambe Bay sunsets. That is my subject. Really. What advice would you give to any aspiring photographers who would like to take part in this exhibition possibly next year? Take some photos. Like really, uh, what, what was great about the exhibition, the local uh, photography exhibition, is that we got photos from amateurs as well as professionals, as well as um, just people snapping away on the phone. We tried to make it as inclusive as possible, and that was really Anna and Darren's brainchild to, to um, sort of um, the reason actually that if you come to the photos, lots of them are in different shapes and sizes, and the reason for that is because of the different media that they were taken. Uh, so some of them just wouldn't blow up. Um, however, we were judging them all on a computer screen, which was a great leveller, I found. So uh, if you want to get involved, take some snaps and send them in. That's the easiest way. Get yourself out of there. And, uh, shoot as many pictures as you can. I mean, I'm far from being a professional. That is my tool. That's all I use. Uh, and with the apps available now, you can take some incredible shots. Uh, just looking for that different perspective. I'm just trying to find something a little bit special. Uh, good luck to everybody who gives it a go. Uh, One of my favourite art critics is uh, Jerry Saltz, and he has a mantra get to work, you big babies. And that's the secret of any artwork, whether it's photography or painting or anything. Get to work, do the work, get out there, take the photos. That's the way you get better, that's the way you improve. And there's so much enjoyment from it. Thanks for everybody, really, and none more so than the organisers. It's been wonderful and wonderful seeing all your photos online and here today, you know. And to the, all of the organisers of the Bay Film Festival, I think it's, it's terrific to see Morgan getting some uh, recognition like that. Thank you. Thank you very much.